Peter here, reporting again from Camp Nerd Fitness. And I'll turn around in a minute because there's a powerlifting competition going on behind me. But I want to chat really quickly about iron plates versus bumper plates. So it used to be that iron plates were ubiquitous and you know fairly inexpensive, and bumper plates were super rare but expensive. Now things have changed a little bit in that bumper plates are still more expensive than iron, but iron but bumpers are not as expensive as they used to be. So when should you use iron and when should you use bumpers? So the answer to that is typically if you can afford bumpers instead of iron, you're probably going to want to use bumpers most of the time. The reason for this is that bumper plates are quieter when you're dropping the bar. So even for deadlifts, when you may need to load more weight on the bar, it's definitely a lot nicer to put it down on the ground and not hear like clang, clang, clang. Although, uh, you know, some of us old schoolers do like that clang, clang, clang noise. But uh, I will tell you at home in my garage, my wife, my kids, they don't want to hear that stuff. So, but for the really light weights or the fractional plates, you know, the fives, the two and a halves, sometimes even the tens, and then, you know, the true fractionals, you may want to actually go to iron. So the other situation where iron is better is when you're putting some serious weight on the bar. We're talking, you know, 400 pounds and up. Your bar, depending on what kind of bar it is, may actually not be able to hold that much weight in bumpers. So you may want to look it up. This has been Peter from Fringe, reporting from Camp Nerd Fitness, talking about when you want to use iron versus bumpers on the bar. Cheers.